guys, I'm Sidhi and this is We Crave That. So this is the part two of the uh, series that I'm doing on Sri Lankan souvenirs. The first one consisted of all the non-eatable items that I got from Sri Lanka, which consisted of decorative items, clothes, bags, um, accessories, soaps, perfumes, blah, blah, blah. And uh, this particular video is going to consist of all the uh, eatables and drinkables that I got from Sri Lanka. And believe me, there's a lot. So uh, let's begin. The very first uh, category that I'm going to show you are the uh, masalas, the spices. Sri Lanka is very popular for them. Of course, you know, the entire belt, uh, uh, south belt of India is also very popular and Sri Lanka is also very, very popular for its spices. So I want to begin with that. I, uh, the first things first, I got this Jaffna curry powder uh, which is like a local curry powder that most women use in their households in Sri Lanka so um, I, I haven't tried it but it's uh, considered to be one of the best so yeah I'm, I'm very very excited there's, there's also a recipe at the back so probably that's how I'm going to uh, try my first recipe um, Second thing I got is um, this nutmeg, like I told you that Sri Lanka is very very popular for spices so nutmeg was something that I really wanted. Uh, I actually got uh, a lot of these spices for my parents and this is one of them. So it's from the spice garden that we uh, visited while on our uh, way from Sigiriya to Kandy. We went to a spice farm and that's where we picked up a few of these items and this is one of them. Uh, secondly, I got these cinnamon sticks. I was very excited. I picked one pack for my mom and I picked one for myself. And uh, believe me, it's, it smells so nice and so divine. It's so sweet. Uh, I, I just could not resist not picking it up. Uh, next thing on the list that i picked up from the space uh, from the same spice market was uh, spice garden was these cloves again uh, I'm, I'm very excited and they're supposed to be really really nice and uh, yeah i mean uh, hopefully my parents are going to be very excited and happy with me because they love spices whenever any of us are visiting uh, you know anywhere in the south of india they always tell us to pick some spices for home uh, and then lastly in this category that I have is vanilla syrup uh, which can be used for baking pancakes, cakes, muffins, blah blah blah. So yes, apparently even this one is going to be uh, is supposed to be really nice and uh, fragrant. So I'm very excited to make use of this also. Uh, so I think that is about it that I have uh, in spices in this category and uh, next up is um, you know the instant noodles the instant food so let's get on to that so we actually went to this uh, supermarket uh, in Sri Lanka whenever we are visiting a new country we always make sure that we go to the supermarket and pick up some of the local foods uh, and that's exactly what we did in Sri Lanka also so the um, spike of the, the first uh, uh, this curry powder that I showed it's, it's from a supermarket that we visited and we also saw different kind of maggie so we were very excited to pick up I have uh, finished a lot of them uh, we picked up like four different kinds of maggies so unfortunately i'm only left with one which is this kotu maggie okay. so kotu is basically uh, you know one of the street foods in in sri lanka it's like a paratha which is chopped really nicely thinly and then it, it, it becomes like a noodle so it's 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 a very popular street food it's really spicy and uh, this is inspired by that we haven't opened it yet and but we are saving it for one of the very special nights uh, that we plan to have so this is one of them uh, i think the other two maggies actually I, I just remember one was a curry flavored maggie and it was nice I think us Indians are more um, in love with tikha, with mirch, but these were not uh, very spicy. They were 
okay and anyone who likes to eat a little soupy maggi i think the spices will be like really really diluted for that so i advise that you don't put a lot of water just just make sure that it's enough because otherwise you will feel that it's bland so um anyway uh, the next one is the kotu kotu the same street food that i was talking about so there was an instant uh ready made pack also and we are very excited to try this again we haven't opened this up it's supposed to be very uh, spicy so i'm really hoping that it is uh this is chicken flavor i think we picked this up from uh candy like we i think it was candy we we went to um one of the supermarkets there or maybe it was somewhere in god so it was either of these two places so yeah this is like a big pack and i think these are the only two items that i'm left with in instant cup of noodles so yeah this is what i have uh moving on next would be biscuits and chocolates so guys uh, as you know i'm making this video i i had mentioned this that i'm uh, my sri lanka trip was in may and i'm making this video in june So of course, a lot of items are not available with, with me because I already ate them. I did manage to save one wrapper of a biscuit, which was this coffee biscuit. It was, oh, I, it was a nice biscuit, but oh my god, the minute I opened my packet, it smelled as if you know it's a coffee pack. it was unreal like i thought like maybe there's like a sachet of, of coffee inside or something but it was it was really nice to have with your tea so it was really interesting yeah so i really enjoyed these these are checkers coffee cookie from the brand malibar you can have a look at this so yeah i mean this got empty really quickly I was having them every day with my tea. Uh, next up are the local chocolates that we picked up. Of course, we picked chocolates from um, uh, the airport, but we really, really wanted to try some local chocolates also. Um, first is this Rivello coconut chocolate. It's a milk chocolate that has coconut, so you can actually feel uh, shreds of coconut inside. It's a little too sweet for me, but uh, yeah, I mean, I just enjoy like a bite of it, uh, you know, once a week. And as it is, I take my like I, I have my chocolates really slow, really, really slowly. So yeah, one is this. The um, other one is from the brand Candos. It's a cashew nut milk chocolate. uh we haven't opened it yet so i think the yeah, uh i'm very excited for this but um since this is my husband's i'm waiting for him to open it up my husband also picks up like these really strange uh flavors so of course he had to pick a really weird one this is again from the same brand called candos it's a savory milk chocolate with cashew nut and chili I mean I don't know what to say I'm so not looking forward to try it but maybe I'll give it a shot just so to tick off like a weird flavor that I've tried in my life so yeah one is this and the last one is this Rivello Eclipse dark chocolate which is this one we picked all of these from Gol uh, Fort. There was a supermarket very close to the fort, so we we walked down to the place and we picked up these chocolate items as well as the curry uh, powder and biscuits. So yes, this is uh, what we picked up from the supermarket in Gol. Uh, the next. category that i'm going to show you is tea and coffee so guys uh i just picked up one play uh, one packet of coffee from sri lanka which was actually when i we were leaving sri lanka so from the airport this is what i picked it says pure sri lankan arabica coffee 
it's a filter style coffee i haven't tried it but very excited i have like so many coffees and teas with me at the moment and i just don't want to open it up already and not try it instantly so that's why i haven't opened it up but maybe soon hopefully soon so yeah one is this and uh, then i picked up these um, flavored teas these were actually from uh, naralia uh, we went to a, a grocery store there it's it was in one of the very big hotels it's by this brand basilar it's ceylon black tea rose uh, rose hip and raspberry it's a black tea so i love the packaging also guys it's, it's beautiful and i'm already done with half of it i'm left with very few and now i'm just being like really stingy and making use of it this is how it looks from inside and it's it's really flavorful it's really nice like it it smells so beautiful like i can sit with a hot cup and just keep smelling it and not have a sip it's so good uh the other one from the same brand is lemon and lime again a beautiful box like you can see it's got it's cut out from here and these are the insides of the packet again from the same place i've tried this it's really nice it's really refreshing like you know uh, on the days when i'm really tired or feeling lethargic i open this one up and this really makes my day uh so uh the third coffee which i got um i didn't purchase it so what had happened was that nirali is very popular for its um uh, tea plantations and we were very excited to go to one of them and pick something up so uh when we reached naralia it was um i think early in the morning around 10ish and the shops hadn't really opened at that time so we thought that we'll just go around and see and uh, we hadn't really planned on going to any tea plantation we just thought that if if because apparently there's supposed to be very many shops that sell tea we did go to one which was like a government authorized shop but i i wasn't really uh, keen on picking up anything from there because nothing seemed very interesting honestly so uh, then finally uh, you know we we started walking around naralia but we did not stumble upon like a single dedicated tea shop and the next so the next day we were to leave super early and uh, we asked our hotel uh, the bnb that we, uh, where, where we were staying we asked the manager if he would know any shop that would be open at that time from where we can pick nice tea so he said unfortunately no because it was really early in the morning it was around 6 o'clock but uh, that was the day of my birthday and they knew that so when we were leaving they had three of these packets from their uh, uh, you know own collection and they just gave it to me it was a gift from the bnb and it was they were so sweet they were so nice that they had created this made this whole buffet like a really elaborate tea party for me it was really really nice So and it's really sweet of them. I, I think Sri Lankans are really nice and they're really hospitable. So they gave me three of these, which I'm very excited to try. I did try. I, I think it was the same brand that I tried in uh, Naralia itself. So yes, I'm. I'm like I have such fond memories of this. I gave two of them to my sister, and I'm taking one. Uh, sorry, one of them to my sister. I'm taking one for my parents, and this one's for me. So I think, guys, these are the all, uh, all the teas and coffees that I got from Sri Lanka. The next category and the last category that I have are the uh, jams and jellies that I got from Naralia. So guys the last category that I have is jams and jellies. Uh so first one is this um uh, mango chutney. So wherever we were eating any Sri Lankan thali they were giving this this sweet mango chutney 
with it. It's a little tikha, but it's it's really nice. So when we went to a grocery store, we saw these, we spotted this, and we were like, we will definitely going to pick this up. It's already half, and we are already upset that we did not pick another bottle. But it's really nice, you know. It 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 goes really really well with Indian food like parathas and sabzi and roti. So it's it's. very good so if you are there do not forget to pick this up and you usually get two kinds one is a little dry and the other one is a little liquidy so i would suggest that you pick up that the one which is a little liquidy um anyways so the next uh, uh item that i have is this lavender and sweet passion fruit jam it's homemade so we were in uh, naralia and we'd gone to this really popular and very big um, hotel there it's called the grand hotel and uh, it's one of the most popular ones in sri lanka because a lot, lot of uh, celebrities from all over the world in so many decades uh, decades have been to that hotel so uh, they have a coffee shop outside and uh, a bakery it's from there we picked this jam up it's really nice it's really sweet it has a little acidic taste because uh, of the uh, passion fruit uh, but it goes so well in a charcuterie board with a nice cracker and a nice jam it like especially with brie it tastes really nice so no charcuterie board in my house is uh, complete without this uh, the last item guys that i have is this rhubarb and date chutney oh my god this is i'm i'm so glad i came across this it's again from the same bakery uh, in naralia it's so nice it's slightly tikka it's meetha it's it's phenomenal and it goes so well with parathas like there's no day when i'm eating parantha and this is not on my plate it's so good like even with you know pulao and namkeen rice it goes really really well with that so yeah these are all the items that i got from sri lanka guys uh i'm very sure i haven't missed on anything um i hope you've seen the part 1 if not i'm going to link it uh the part 1 of sri lankan souvenirs to this video so that you can watch that as well uh there's just one more thing that i would like to tell you that uh sri lanka is super super popular for gemstones so make sure whenever you're going uh, you visit a lot of stores uh you know where they sell jewelry and you pick up some of the most popular gemstones of sri lanka uh, but yes like i said make sure you go to various shops because uh, you know that would give you a better idea about the prices and you might find a very good deal like we we went to a lot of different shops and there were so the pieces are very different in all of these shops so please make sure you go to different different places explore and then you pick up the one that you really really like uh so guys yes that's me i i really hope that you like this video i really hope that you'll save it and the next time uh, you plan to go to sri lanka or whenever you do it now you would know what to pick where to go and uh, what are the things that uh, you can look for um yes so guys that's me i'm going to sign off now please show some love please like follow and subscribe and i will promise to bring you more interesting videos uh, that you would love Thank you so much. Bye.